Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to change in literally in five minutes your differential oil, rear differential on your Toyota Lexus vehicles. Toyota Tundra, Tacoma, Land Cruiser, 4Runner, Helix, Hino trucks, big trucks like Mack trucks, Freightliner, Peterbilt and so on. They all have this one solid rear axle that has fuel plug, and the drain plug. The rear differential cover does not come off, which is makes it so much easier changing your gear oil. Makes it breeze on your Lexus LX 450, 470, LX 570, GX models, and uh, Toyota Prado, all of those vehicles. So basically what you need is 24 inch socket, it will remove your fill plug and your drain plug. Before you do anything, make sure you clean this area. You see it's all dried up versus everything else. Well, that's because I cleaned, I don't want any contamination when I remove the plug falling into it, falling inside and contaminating and destroying my differentials. Once I break it loose to 24, size 24 then I'll break it loose my drain bolt why this one's first in case there is a problem you cannot remove this bolt this fill plug but you remove the, the or the drain then you stuck you drain the fluid you can dry but if you cannot remove this one well then you have a problem then you gotta work on this don't remove your drain plug so first to clean that I used brake parts cleaner both top and bottom so now I'm gonna start draining the fluid I'm gonna remove this bolt first I wanna see what can I see on the inside with a flashlight looks like it's a crushable washer there is nothing on the inside and I'm gonna take a sample and set it into the lab to find out how things are going for me. How old is the gear oil actually working? And at the same time, like I said, I'm gonna take a sample, so I'm gonna be quick. So as you can see, it's definitely dirty. It's definitely dirty gear oil. See, there's, it's even changed the color. So we'll see. We'll see what lab results comes out, and we'll find out. On this bolt, I'm gonna clean the magnet. See, there is fine ma magnetic but metal particle on it, and just make sure when you remove. I want you guys to notice that. Yeah, clean this surface, the magnet, and as you can see, the washer looks like it's stuck at the bottom there. Either it's stuck or it was never installed when was it last time replaced. While it's draining, as you can see, on my left side I have a jack. Because the drain plug is a little bit, not directly underneath, but on the side, and what, what I want to do is I want to make sure I can drain the oil of the fluid. So I'm going to jack it up a little bit. And you can see on the camera how much faster, or not how much faster, how much, and you can see on the camera how much more oil flows out. See how much more oil is coming out? I'm gonna show you that there isn't anything stuck to the bottom of that plug. See if I can make this. Okay. You see guys? There isn't anything. So the it's it's I went to the dealer and I got all the crush washers for all the 
front rear differential transfer cage transmission engine plug brand new because I don't know if I told you guys or not earlier this is a quarter million mile Tundra 2012 with a 4.6 engine 4x4 oil still dripping even though I've raised one side a lot of oil came out see they're still still dripping so I'll wait for it to drain off as much as possible before I put the plug drain plug back while still draining I'm gonna show you how much fluid you need and what kind of fluid you need always use synthetic fluid this is what I'm using you're gonna need from 3.2 to 4.2 quarts of this gear oil this is a flexible pouch so you can actually it comes out it's flexible so that means you can put it in squeeze it out you don't need hoses you don't need funnels very easy simple and no wasted fluid because if you have round or square bottles you're gonna have fluid that wasted because you can't squeeze everything out you can't pump everything out this is a uh, hundred percent synthetic gear oil so this gear oil will protect actually this is the best on the market can be used in your pickup trucks SUVs heavy duty trucks you know what I mean the, but you gotta use the proper viscosity dependent so this is a good stuff actually improves the fuel economy I have tried my other vehicles and works very well so have it how to uh, so you cut the tip off and while still draining I'm gonna prep myself so I cut the tip off So, I guess we'll cut it halfway or so. And I'm gonna reuse this. We'll put the cap back on. You're probably thinking it's gonna leak. Well, no, it's not gonna leak actually because it, it's a double seal. What I mean by double seal, you see there's a actually seal up there. So it's so sealed that, that to prevent any contamination. I'm surprised there's a lot of gear oil. So this might be, it might have like a four quarts or close to four quarts that it's coming out. I have to use the bleed actually. Surprisingly, it's sealed very, very well. So there you go. You remove the seal. You attach this and I'm gonna reuse this so I don't have to cut every time for the new bottle. Oh, my cap came off, I'm gonna put it back on. So see open, insert, and squeeze. So that's how simple this easy easy pack is to get to work with. This is my drain plug. I put a new washer. Washer has all this round side and flat side. I'm putting the flat side against the bottom of the washer and this rounded side because it's going to be crushed against the body on the differential. Same thing for the same thing for the fill plug. Same washer, same type. It's a crush washer. Crush. Torquing the bolts the drain and the fuel bolt 36 foot pounds according to the specs according to the specs there are specs that truck should be or the car or SUV whatever you have should be on a level surface and you add you add where it's the point where it starts coming out or five millimeters below so <clears throat> that's what its instruction says it should be done I just verified on Toyota's website for this Tundra for 4.6 engine. It actually takes 4.9 quarts of gear oil. 3.2 and up to 4.2 is on 5.7. So V6 and 4.6 have larger capacity. And the reason why, my just my assumption, because the casing... The axle itself is the same size, but the gears 
2.57 is bigger. So this is according to the Toyota service manual for this specific vehicle verify the uh, the uh, VIN number it's 3.9 even though it has a tow package but it says 3.9 uh, gear ratio on 5.7 it's 4 maybe 4.1 or 4.3 so the gears are bigger so I cleaned it up the plug put a new washer on I'm gonna put it back on torque it to 39 36 foot pounds and start filling up. So I'm using this Craftsman torque wrench. I bought it a long time ago actually, a few years ago. When the Craftsman tools used to be known for quality right before they pretty much start closing the stores and and just slowly, you know, keep wrenching and then the torque wrench starts clicking. That's it. Once the torque wrench clicks, and just carefully, you know, don't over torque it. You don't want to destroy your and that's it start filling in see how easy it squeezes and you squeeze and you put every little drop, every bit of it. Something you cannot do with a conventional How nice this design. That's it. See? I emptied out everything. Now I'm gonna take this off, put this cap on, and I've already removed the seal. That's it, I have added almost 5 quarts, 4.9, I can see the fluid actually. Now I'm gonna put a fuel plug and torque it to 36. I'm gonna wipe it everything clean. All the wet stuff that you see is not actually the gear oil. It's actually undercoating that I have applied in the fall and it's a winter time. So and actually in winter time gear flows much slower. So that's how it is, you know. I'm gonna torque it, make sure it clicks on the torque wrench. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, you know, share this video with others, if you have questions, ask, otherwise, have an awesome day.